Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. This is another of my short, short stories from the next edition of my book, Soloists, about 185 short, short stories of uh, introverts and outsiders facing a dilemma. This story is called A Little Life. Linda turned off her alarm clock, petted her still sleeping dog, Daisy, and crept out of bed. She drank coffee as she dressed. She was embarrassed that she preferred to dress in the librarian stereotype. Today it was a dark jacket over a light blue blouse and black pants and, yes, sensible shoes. She strolled to the bus, she rarely was late and had to hurry, and arrived at the library at 8.50 in time for the library's 9 o'clock opening. At the reference desk, she was appropriately pleasant, encouraging, and restrained. After work, she had a light dinner. Then she usually, except for Tuesday nights when she had choir rehearsal, carrying a hot chocolate, which she liked for dessert, she'd get into her flannel nightgown and retreat to her bed with Daisy, her doggy, uh, where she'd read a middle brow novel. Or she'd knit simple things, a knitted bookmark for coworkers and favorite customers, and fingerless hand warmers for members of the choir. They keep the church cool. One evening, Linda got a call. She thought, telemarketers? They're calling later and later. But it wasn't a telemarketer. It was someone claiming to be a producer for American Idol. Linda didn't believe it until he said, a member of your choir sent us a video of your solo on Bridge Over Troubled Waters, told about you, and we're impressed. Actually, all four of us producers think you could win it all. You're just what we're looking for, a normal, regular person, a librarian, no less, who, when she sings, blows everyone away. You could be the next Susan Boyle, maybe better. Would you like to audition for American Idol? Linda was overwhelmed, took a breath, and thought, maybe they say that to the many, many people they invite to audition. And even if I somehow were to win, look at Susan Boyle. She had her 15 minutes of fame, and then everyone wanted a piece of her. They dolled her up. Singing went from a pleasure to a business. She lost her peace of mind. If I remember right, she had to go to a mental health clinic. Then Linda said in her kindest voice, I'm sorry, but I need to say no. The producer replied, I know you're expecting me to argue with you, but to be honest, I understand. And Linda hung up, petted Daisy, sipped her hot chocolate, and returned to her knitting. Anyway, that story is called A Little Life. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Artie Nemco.